Hey guys, Bob here again, and today I am out in the field with my Drotar Panzer, and we're going to try to take advantage of some mild temperatures in Michigan and see if we can uh, come across some rabbits uh, out in these fields. And uh, if we don't have any luck, we're going to work our way over to some tree lines and see if we can find some squirrels before the season's end. So follow along, we'll see how the dog does, we'll see how I do, and we'll see if we can get some game in the bag. So let's go. Okay, so we're working through here. And I didn't have the camera out for a minute. Let's watch this dog work. And we got on a cottontail and he got real vocal tracking. Let's watch this dog work a little bit and try to keep him in close. Come on, Pants, too far. We can come across something here. As we work through these brush piles and Bush lots here. A lot of people often wonder what kind of breed I'm working with here, and this is Dratar. And he will hunt about anything I tend to go after with him and retrieve. He's a generally close to medium working dog, his personality. And we chase pheasants quite a bit. He is dealing with uh, quite the illness, and I can talk about that a little later, but let's get him in a little closer. <whistles> Come on, Pants! Work through some of this thick cover here. Come on, Pants, work it up! How he does working through this cut brush here. He's quartering back on something here. Well, I'm walking through this thick cover. Let me put this camera back down for a minute here. We'll let this dog work and we'll see if I can get some lead farming going on here and get ourselves a rabbit. All right, Panzer, let's work this pile, bud. Work it. What do we got here? Well, we got us cottontail in here or do we have a false alarm? Break. Well, this is what happens when I think your draw tire is working his way on a field mouse. Keep moving. All right, and just like that, we struck out. Come on, Pans, hunt him up. So we're gonna work through this cover here. Uh, this is actually a little bit of known pheasant cover, but it butts up to this tree line and tends to hold some rabbits sometimes. And well, we might even come across a squirrel on this tree line. Let's let the dog work, and this is why we call it hunting. Why don't you guys watch a drot do a little bit of field work? See him work his way around. And he's working back to us on the edge of this corn over here. And he's putting up some doves. And he's working back towards us here. No such luck. We got the wind coming from my back from right to left. And let's keep on. All right, and just like that, we'll work our way over to another set of conditions here and a little bit of different kind of terrain. Let the dog use his nose and work through the heavy cover while I'm walking along this old tube track. See if he can 
find us a rabbit. Now I have been coming across a lot of coyote tracks out here. So Mother Nature's hunters are out here a lot more than we are. But let's see how we can do. It's gonna work over to this next gun. Well, it's following that nose. What do we got here? Warming up nicely. I don't have a lot of layers on, but I'm breathing hard and starting to sweat a little bit. I think it's into the lower 30s now. Looks like he's working away over to some other what we call objectives here of cover. And with any luck, if he does come across a rabbit way out there, sometimes he'll point, but most of the time he gets vocal and will go on chase. And with any luck, the rabbit will come across this clearing. And the dog's quartering nicely out in front of us here. I'm going to work back over to this cover. Let's keep this hunt going and see if we can get some game. All right, and it's a time for a drinky drink here. These dogs are athletes. Keep them hydrated out here. This one likes to drink out of a squirt bottle. And then we keep the hunts going. Want a little bit more there, pal? And just like that, we keep them hydrated. And we're going to keep the hunt going. Got there, buddy. What you got there? What you got there, pants? What you got there? All right, looks like we've got a groundhog or a muskrat in there. So we're gonna back this dog out of here. I need to put this camera down, but that's what happens. We've got a versatile dog. You find versatile critters. So let's stop this and get him off this. Okay, so. We are up on top of this raised uh, dike area here, and it is a super highway for all kinds of animal tracks. I'm seeing coyotes, possums, raccoons, rabbits, squirrels, my dog. Even signs of beaver out here. Hold up, fans. Up, up, up. Hey, we need to go down there. Look at all these tracks. All kinds of animals been working down this lane. And here he comes back working that nose. The ice is pretty heavy. I was walking on that earlier, so I'm not concerned about him breaking through. Well, he found a hole or something. Leave it, Pens. Let's hunt him up. And yeah, we don't want to mess with that. We're going after rabbits. And we've got all kinds of signs. Rabbits chewing and feeding on the bark in here. We just need to find the rabbits. I guess this is why we call it hunting. Nothing beats a day in the field with a good dog, though. Hunt them up, fans. A little encouragement. Keep driving on. Coming up to a heavy spot, so away goes the camera again, and let's keep hunting. Okay, and this short, typical dog was gone for a minute. And what does your draw tire bring to you? He kills a skunk and brings it to you. We're gonna stop this camera and make sure we don't have a stink bomb going on. All right, and just like that, we have concluded our hunt, and in more ways than one, we ended up skunked. So. 
Hope you guys enjoyed your time in the field behind a draw tar. If you like what you've seen and you had fun, please go ahead and click the like and subscribe and follow and all those other bells and icons and things. And we're going to keep some content going up with uh, Panzer and I as we spend some time in the field. So until then, I am going to go and stop off at the pharmacy and pick up some hydrogen peroxide and dish soap and all those other things to try that remedy. And I guess I'm going to have to go home and out some venison. So stay out in the field. Okay, to be continued, part B here to this, we're going to try to clean this dog off. So, we stopped off at Rite Aid, got us a little bit of Dawn dish soap, cuts grease, hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, if you want to have some rubber gloves, and I use a little dish. So, what I do is, I'm going to... Got a bucket of warm water back there too, and a stinky dog. I squirt a good amount of this in here, and more, and pop open the baking soda here. Old stinky pans are back there. Put a bunch of baking soda in there. Oh, looks like we need to open up our peroxide. We can do this with a glove on. Yep, looks like we got that open. I'm trying not to let my buddy even touch me here, stink bomb. He had a good hunt, good time hunting. And I'm going to squirt this in here, make myself a little paste here. And I'll swirl this around. My dog is going to hate me for a minute here. But what we're going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to slather this everywhere. I'm gonna make sure I don't get this in his eyes and his nose and stuff the best I can. But anywhere that I think that that darn skunk oil got on him, I'm gonna put this, including the collars, which may be ruined. He doesn't like this. Oh, here. Come on, Hook. Don't want him getting in the house or on anything we don't want him touching. So we're gonna slather some more of this on him here. Make sure we don't get that in his eyes. We'll let this sit for a little while while we do this. This would be a little bit easier if it was warm outside. I'd probably have the hose fired up, but everything's frozen. So, all right, so we've got our paste on Panzer here. You can see him looking all silly. And I've got a bucket back here with some warm water in it. Put a little warm water on him here. He did warm up into the mid-30s right now. He's got some burrs in his beard, so I guess we can get those out of there while we're at it. I think he's doing okay. Hold on, Bill. Let's get these burrs out of here. This is the life of the bearded dog. Well, Beers. Obviously, you can tell he's not enjoying this. Neither am I. But I'm going to get some of this warm water on him now. They do have a little bit of the soap in the water as well. I'm trying to stay away from his eyes the best I can. Get the beard in his chest. Anywhere I think that that skunk, if it had, you know, I didn't get to see what happened, but. Uh, he was off and killed the skunk and retrieved it. So I don't know if the skunk sprayed him or if it just, if he popped the little smelly sack. So we're gonna suds up old Panzer here. Let that stuff do its work. All right, so we're gonna let that stuff sit for a little bit. I'm gonna uh, get another bucket of some clean water and rinse him off. And now, I think we can say, let's go inside and let's get some cooking going on.